Welcome back, folks, to Let's Play Star Trek Judgment Rights. And when we last left off, we were slowly discovering more information about this strange facility. For a start, there appears to be a device in the room over to the right that is, uh, pumping out, um, stuff into the atmosphere. We don't know if it's good or if it's bad, but we know that at the moment we can't stop it. There was also a, uh, device in the next room up to the north that uh, seems to be dispensing food. That the, uh, the Balcozi, who are the native uh, species here that have just reached their stone age, seem to be taking advantage of. And there are devices in here, medical devices, suited towards the Balcozi. There's something odd going on here. But before we uh, do anything else, we're just going to have a look around and... Uh, See if there's anything else we need to uh, look at, because this place seems to uh, have loads of things in it that we haven't actually uh, looked at yet. Oh yeah, we're back in here. So this all seems to be a big circle. Also, uh, we should probably talk to the crew here. They look peaceful enough, Jim. Was that the Balcozy? Well, they're not actually in the room right now. Oh, there we go. There's one. We should be able to gain valuable data studying the Balcozy. And, uh, we need to actually, uh, unfortunately, uh, get one of the Balcozi into the medical facility by use of Spark. Captain, I will attempt to restrain the Balcozian when he stops to eat. Good plan. Did it work? Yes. The nerve bundle seemed quite thick. My assumption is that the Balcozian is unharmed, but will remain unconscious for a considerable time. Oh, that's useful for us. Let's, uh, let's get him out of here. I think you need to use Kirk on him for that. Jim, I'd like to take him to the medical examination room next door. I want to know what that gas is doing to him. Oh, yeah, there was a spray of gas, wasn't there? Not a bad idea, Bones. That was a very quiet piece of dialogue from Kirk there. That was very quiet. All right, now, uh, we have to use, uh, McCoy on him, I believe. No, that's not McCoy. That's McCoy. Let's see what's happening. My God, look at these readings. Everything's elevated. Small wonder that the Balcosi are in turmoil. Every aggression-related hormone in this guy's body is working overtime. It would seem like whatever that machine's doing, it's influencing them. What's causing it, Bones? Probably the gas. That little hiss of air was loaded with pheromones, Jim. The creature inhaled them? and immediately went into overload. Being lured in by food and then being fed pheromones that makes them aggressive. This must happen at random intervals when they collect the food. Random intervals? I hate to sound like Spock, but there's more and it's pretty fascinating. Also horrifying. The pheromone is perfectly tuned to the Balcosian physiology. It's like somebody genetically engineered both. Oh dear. Didn't the Demeter report say there weren't enough records showing the Balcosian presence on the planet. Could they have been put here on purpose? Oh! Now there's something to consider. It is possible we have stumbled in on an experiment, Captain. That is not good at all. With the subjects being treated like rats, it's criminal, Jim. These are... can be... thinking beings. Most certainly agree with McCoy here. We need to stop this. I'm not certain it is the Balcozi that are the subjects, Bone. I think it is us. Really? Interesting hypothesis, Captain. What is your supporting data? Well, let's hear it. It's the way all of this is set up, Spock. I can't put my finger on it, but it just feels so... so set up. We keep finding out just enough to make choices. The real question is who? Who's doing this to us? That's a good question. And to what purpose, Captain? Why? That is also a very good purpose. Why indeed, Spock? Why indeed? Well, we, uh, we most certainly will have to find that out. Uh, considering this game, I'd find it very, very, very surprising if, uh, we weren't uh, figuring that out at some point. I mean, this game is uh, pretty good. Well, I mean, the last one certainly was at uh, giving the answers to all of the uh, things we were asking. I mean, I need to get these people out of the way so I can look at this uh, Balcosian. This seems pointless. No, no, I need to look at the Balcosian. Is that the Balcosian? This seems pointless. Nope. What about the uh, 
medical tricorder. Does that work? Standard Starfleet medical tricorder, full of all known Federation life form data. Well, that's uh, quite a lot of data. There's a huge amount of data. Can we uh, use that on uh, on the Barkosian? My God, look what's causing it, Bob. That little hit. This must oh, we've already uh, intervals when they we've already got this through. I hate to. Didn't the Demi? It is possible with the snap. I'm not interested. It's the way and to why. Well, there we go. We managed to uh, click through that pretty quickly. Pretty quickly. So we just need to uh, have a look around now. I mean, what else could we actually uh, look at here? I'm not sure there's too much more here that we can uh, do. I mean, that heads out to the surface, I think. A small door leading to the planet's surface. We could scan that, I suppose. What does it say? The cavernous structure narrows considerably, approximately 15 meters ahead, Captain. We would not be able to get past that point. Meaning we can't escape. But we can keep heading around in this place and uh, head further beyond. Might as well. Now, this is uh, one room we've been to. Does this head into the central area? No, it heads back to... Well, the Balkosian is gone, so... Uh, Balkosian is in fact left. But uh, we got our information that we needed. We could potentially turn this off, but uh, at this point I'm not sure we want to from here. Now which room did we go into before? It was this room, I think. It was this room. Now, one of these rooms does something. So are these two separate things? The generator feeds power to other machines here and blocks communication and transport lock-on. What about this? A large computer sits in front of you. In some ways, it reminds you of a reduced version of the historic Univac system. Oh, that is a different thing! Spark! Use your tricorder! Because you haven't done enough of this uh, mission already. Captain, this appears to be a mass storage device. The tricorder cannot tell what information it holds. Well, we're going to have to figure that out, aren't we? We're definitely going to have to figure that out. We have a computer card, though. That could potentially uh, have something on it. Well, at least I think it does. It'll fit into a computer. A bridge unit for use between function control and display circuitry. Might as well use it. I mean, we're running out of things to use. No, I don't think that's necessary. Oh. Can we get Spock to use it? Captain, there's a small display active. It appears that this device is a memory unit, an archive. Most amazing. The information is in volatile memory. If power were lost to this device, all information contained within would be lost. An odd way to create an archive. Indeed. What is in the archive? Do we want to know that? The displays indicate it contains a vast amount of data on three-dimensional projection. Circuitry diagrams, equipment construction techniques. Essentially, everything needed to project lifelike images in great detail inside of a structure. Starfleet does not have this level of technology. This would be a major find for the Federation. I wonder what that's used for. Then I think that gathering that data would be a very good thing to do, Mr. Spock. How are we going to do that? Very well, Captain. Captain, the display indicates that the best view of the projection will be from the south side of the room. Well, let's give it a look. Well, gentlemen, let's have a look. Anyone got popcorn? Nope, nobody has popcorn. Bones. Pay attention, McCoy. That's just the crew here. I wonder why it scanned us. Oh yeah, it did at the beginning, didn't it? It scanned us right at the beginning. I wonder what it learned. Impressive spark. Yeah. Captain, I'm not responsible for that occurrence. However, I did discover that accessing the memory will not only trigger the shutdown of this unit, 
It will also send a signal to another device, most likely one somewhere in this complex. Damaging the unit will also initiate shutdown and signal transmission. Oh. Well, that's really not going to do anything. It's not really going to be very good, is it? There's no way around it. Maybe. None, Captain. What is this, some kind of idiotic test? Don't fool with that, Spock. You'll poison this planet and make these inhabitants permanently aggressive. We don't want that. Doctor, you do not know for certain that whoever placed the Valkozy here did not intend for that to happen. The aggressiveness may be what they need to develop further. And the information in the archive is a reward for sending the Balkozy into the next stage of their development. Hmm. You just want to get your Vulcan fingers on that precious scientific information. More like 30 pieces of silver for condemning the Balkozy to the lives of violence. Jim, you can't let this unfeeling monster do this to the Balkozy. Uh-oh. Moral dilemmas! Do you wish me to continue attempting to access the archive, Captain? Yes, Spock. That information could be critical to the Federation. Mm. Let's hold off until we get a little more information. That might be better. Yes, Spock. That information could be critical to the Federation. Yeah, we need to hold off here. Let's hold off until we get a little more information. Yeah. Let's do that, because I get the feeling Save we need to Save figure out something. We have two items still. We have uh, this and that. We can't use this on that? Oh, we can now! Oh! This generator may be providing power for more than just this complex. It is broadcasting power, which is causing the interference in communications with the Enterprise. I cannot tell for certain if there are receiving units for this power, because some of the readout circuits are damaged. Fascinating. I expected it to be fascinating. What is fascinating this time, Spock? Well, why don't we ask? I doubt it's fascinating to either Bones or myself, but I'm sure that won't stop you from telling us. That's just a little rude. What is fascinating this time, Spock? Well, why don't we ask him? Let's not be rude, because I think being rude will reduce our score. You tell him, Jim. I'm getting sick of this alien smarter-than-thou attitude. Now, now. If either of you had an ounce of logic, you would be more prepared to listen to my information, and possibly even understand it. Why... Did I select the wrong thing? Bordering on insubordination, aren't we, Mr. Spock? Hmm. I always knew that no emotion garbage was just to cover. He thinks he should be in charge. What's going on here? Mr. Spock, I'll have those findings from you right now. Is that what you get for, um, doing the one option, map? Captain, it appears the circuit was deliberately damaged. This would only be possible if the force field were down. Who would damage their own machinery? And for what purpose? Good question. More and more curious, Mr. Spock. It is. Also, Captain, I am able to determine that if power is interrupted rather than shut down from this console, it will send a signal to that effect. The signal will trigger some other event. I do not know what the event will be. Well, we don't know what the, any of these events will be so far. The readout is now fully functional. There are other locations on this planet receiving power from this generator. Most peculiar. The locations of these units are not in the database. Oh. And you think they should be? Possibly. It would be logical, Captain. But removing the circuit that controls the on and off functions of this device would also be illogical. <laughs> Why would that be? Are you trying to tell me that's what happened here? Oh. Exactly, Captain. Until that repair is made, it would be impossible to execute a proper shutdown procedure. Oh. I'm going to reload that, because I'm curious if um, that was the right option, if I actually selected the correct option there. It almost seems like I didn't. Uh, so, if we click this to here, we'll see. No, I don't think that's... Oh, it's this machine that you stick it to. Oh, it's this machine. This generator may be provided... What is fascinating this time? Yes, yeah, so I selected one here. You tell him, Jim, I'm getting... If yeah, it was actually that one. Mr. Spock. Captain Moore also kept the readout. And you think they should? It would be. Are you trying to? Exactly, Captain. I, mean, I don't think that was the uh, the really rude option, but we only have one particular thing left, and that's this cable. What was that cable again? Let's have a look at what that cable was. An interface cable. Well, it's the only item we have left. Why not just use it? Will it work? The repair is complete, Captain. It would now be possible to safely shut this machine down. However, 
doing so would certainly affect all the other equipment in this complex. And pretty much render it all completely unusable. Hmm. Definitely think now is the time to save. save new game. We really want to uh, make sure we make the right decision here. And if memory serves for this game, you don't want to just shut the machine down. Because um, if you just use, if you just shut down the machine, you lose an absolute huge amount of points. Let's use him on the pole first. Captain, do you wish me to start the shutdown sequence on the generator? Hmm. Let's hold off on that for now, Spock. Shut it down, Spock. Let's hold off on that for now, Spock. Hmm. Captain, the generator is now fully functional. Power can be turned off if you wish. Okay. Can we use him on this? Will that make any difference? Captain, accessing the archive will cause transmission of the signal from this unit to the other device. Do you wish me to continue? No. Yes, Spock. That information could be critical to the Federation. No, I don't think you should. Let's hold off until we get a little more information. Hmm. I'm just thinking, because we don't want to make the, the wrong choice here, do we? Because we'll, it seems to be like we either condemn one thing or the other, and we really don't want to condemn the Balcozi. I mean, like, nothing is more terrible for the Federation's efforts than condemning the Balcozi. <laughs> In this instance. So which room am I wanting to go into? One of these rooms contain that device that we put this. We have this thing Spock, here. Can you do anything with those controls? That's a good question. Let's find out. They're over there, Spock. Captain, the controls are locked out. There is no way to change their settings. Oh, what about uh about this? Can you do anything with this? A discharge unit set to eject material siphoned through ceiling pipes into the planet's ecosystem. Okay, fair enough. It would seem like all of our choices are literally hinging in that room over there. That room over there. This projection room. Hmm. Hmm. Memory serves. We do want to, to uh, shut down the... Uh, the, uh, the pole first. I think we actually want to shut down that first. Save new game. Because if we, uh, game. if we do do that, then it blocks the signal, something else will happen. I think that's what we need to do. In the end, we need to do what's right for the Balcozi. So we're going to do that. Captain, do you wish me to start the shutdown sequence on the generator? Hmm. Let's hold off on that for now, Spock. Shut it down, Spock. Yeah, let's shut it down. You'll be able to tell if uh, you made the right choice because there'll be a certain, like, hum sound, I think, as I recall. <laughs> well, that ends that threat. The Balcosi can rest peacefully tonight and from now on. There we go. I think we made the right decision. In the end, gaining information for the Federation is a... Uh, not as important as uh, doing what we did just there, which was helping the Balcozy. It is still a trying time in their development, Doctor. It is. Hopefully they'll pull through. Think of it as an adventure, Spock. Scotty, three to beam up. Three to beam up indeed. I think we made the right choice. Excellent. And nobody died! And we didn't fire the phases once. Captain, the power source has completed its shutdown cycle. There is no trace of the bacteria or pheromone in the atmosphere. It would appear the Balcozi are free to choose their own future. And that is the best result. Good to hear, Spock. I know losing a find like that archive has to hurt. Ah, well. We'll find more archives. That would be an emotional response. And I'm sure deep down he's probably a little hurt. Of course it would. How silly of me. Yeah, let's not presume that Spock has emotions. Spock totally has emotions. He just buries them really far down. Captain, there are two signals being broadcast from the planet. The first is another burst following the same path as the original broadcast. The other signal emanates from nearby the first. It's aimed at us, Captain. Well, let's see what it is. Subject suitable. Oh. That's Message ominous. From Starfleet, Captain. That's ominous. So we were the ones being tested. 
We were the ones being tested after all. Looks like we succeeded. On screen, Lieutenant. Let's hope finding that puzzle didn't affect our score that badly. Interesting report, Jim. I think you were right to release the Balcosi from outside influence. Too bad you couldn't retrieve the archive. Well, not much we could do there. No one at Starfleet has any idea who was behind all this, or what the testing message was all about. Keep us informed as you find out more. I've got confidence in you, Jim. Thank you very much. I have reviewed your report from your recent assignment, Captain. I have a few comments. There is no space there between the word assignment and captain, I've just realized. Look at that! No space! No space at all. It's all one word! I am very pleased with your performance. It was a perfect mission, Jim. Your reputation as Starfleet's best starship captain is secure. Kane out. Wow! Failing the puzzle did not affect my score. I think that's a 100%. Excellent! Can't complain about that. Let's leave. Nothing more to do there. Mission 3! No Man's Land. Captain's Log, Stardate 6236.5. Following our mission to Balcos, the Enterprise is proceeding to Omega Corvus to probe radiation clouds. We are expecting an... Uneventful mission. When you say uneventful there, Kirk, you mean boring, don't you? Message from Starfleet Command. Let's hope it's that this mission's been cancelled. On screen. Please say it's been cancelled. This is a code to emergency, Captain. Three Federation ships have vanished in the Delphi system within the last month. Three days ago, we lost contact with the USS Zimbabwe. You are to go to the Delphi system and find out what's happened to our ships. Starfleet out. Well, looks like we're not going to be scanning radiation clouds. Well, with that, I do believe we should, uh, obviously, talk to Spock. What's that? Uh... The Delphi system is not far from Romulan space. That is an interesting assertion to make, Spock. Let's not make any accusations without proof, Mr. Spock. I don't think he was. I make no accusations, Captain. I am simply pointing out relevant information based on the most logical hypothesis available. I would not recommend drawing a definite conclusion from it. Fair enough. And with that, folks, we are now on the next mission. So, it's time to save and see you next video. For when we come back, we're off to the Delphi system. I have absolutely no idea on the star map where the Delphi system is, so I'm going to have to look that up. So, I'll catch you next time, folks. And I'll see you then. Later. Who knows? Maybe there'll be adventure over there. Maybe. Who knows? Later.